Hey everybody, this is Franco, and I wanted to give you an update on the Omron spindle encoder installation kit that I'm working on for the 7x10, 7x14, 7x12 mini lathes sold by Grizzly and Harbor Freight and other uh, similar importers. So the reason why I thought I would shoot this uh, quick video is because I am getting ready to uh, ship a whole bunch of the um, mini lathe CNC conversion kits. I am, have pretty much all the components that I need. I'm just waiting for a few hardware items, pulleys and things like that that should be here any day. So taking deposits on the, the mini lathe conversion kits and I'm getting a lot of questions about spindle feedback. So currently, today, I am able to offer a spindle index sensor uh, for Mach 3. And this only works for Mach 3. And the way this works is it, it uses a magnet and it picks up one pulse per revolution from the spindle and you feed that into the Mach 3 software. Um, it works okay, but it's nowhere near as accurate as the encoder setup. So I've converted everything that I have over to Centroid, and I recommend the Centroid product for your CNC control software. But the, the thing of it is, um, Centroid wants to use a spindle encoder, which is, spindle encoder is way better than this spindle index sensor for Mach 3. The spindle index sensor only gives you one pulse per revolution. This encoder gives you 8,000 pulses per revolution. It's way more accurate. It's, it's, it's what you would see on like a real industrial CNC machine. You'd see a, an encoder on the spindle. So this is better. Trick is, the problem is, right now, I can sell you this spindle index sensor for Mach 3, but I don't have a kit to mount this encoder for the Harbor Freight and Grizzly mini lathes yet. I don't have it yet, but I'm very, very, very close to having something ready for you guys, and I wanted to show you this little video here just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. So normally this is the cover that would be on the Grizzly, but I have this old blue one on here. This is kind of a prototype. So the, the problem that I've had is this spindle encoder, it's, it's not too hard to mount it. You know, I, right now I'm using a 3D printed bracket. Um, it may eventually be metal brackets, but the 3D printed bracket is working good. It's plenty strong enough. Um, just uses a gear. And eventually what you're going to use is this, this one of the gears that comes with the mini lathe. So this gear will probably get pressed on or epoxied onto a little adapter. That little adapter will mount to the shaft on the encoder. And then there'll be a bracket to mount the encoder to the mini lathe. Very simple. Problem that I've had is the encoder doesn't fit underneath this plastic cover. And I've been hesitant to uh, sell the, the mounting hardware knowing that, you know, you won't be able to mount the cover. And, um, you know, I, I know pretty much everybody that's messing around with this stuff is pretty smart, but, you know, I got to think about safety and liability and all that stuff like that. So I, I didn't want to sell this kit until I figured out this cover thing. But uh, my father-in-law is in town, and we were playing around in the garage here this afternoon, and I think I got the solution all laid out, and here's what it looks like. It's pretty easy with a few dimensions that I'll eventually give in the instructions, you can um, use a hole saw, you know, your cordless drill or your drill press, and you can cut an opening in this plastic cover. This cover is made out of ABS plastic. You can cut an opening this, in this cover that's big enough to let the encoder protrude through, but uh, small enough that you can't fit your finger in there. And I feel comfortable with that. I, I feel comfortable designing the kit around that that paradigm, and that's how I intend to move forward. So that's it, just an update on that. Um, this encoder, I have plenty of other videos show it and showing it in action. Um, you know, you can see it's, it's, it's extremely accurate, uh, much better, much better than a single pulse per index with the uh, Mach 3 system. So there's the update. I'm working on that. I'm trying to get those ready as soon as possible. Uh, if you want to hold off on buying a mini lathe kit until I get that encoder situation figured out, that's fine. 
Um, if you want to buy the kit now, or buy the encoder kit for Centroid later, that's okay too, whatever works for you guys. If you're a Mach 3 guy, um, I'll be happy to sell you the spindle index encoder or spindle index sensor. If you uh, really like Mach 3 and you want to use Mach 3, I have these available now and I can, you know, get you one of those. And they work okay, but, you know, this is a lot better. The Centroid system, in my opinion, is much better uh, CNC lathe software than Mach 3 turn was. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop me a line, comment on the video. Appreciate all you guys uh, watching everything I put on YouTube and all your comments and all your support. Uh, thank you very much for all of that. And please be safe. Enjoy working on your projects, and I'll catch you later.